Hello, I'm Loudon Styles. I do these videos so you watch them, and this is Loudon's World. Today on Loudon's World, I am going to be talking about something that is a hobby of mine, um, wrestling. And I'm going to be talking about the Raw 900th episode. My fucking god. That was horrible. Great A shit. If you put shit on top of a shit sandwich, that would be the Raw 900th episode. I have seen piles of shit in my toilet that were far more fucking entertaining than the Raw 900th episode. The only good thing in that Raw 900th episode that was far entertaining was CM Punk's promo and seeing John fucking Cena lose to Justin Gabriel. That was the only entertaining thing in this, that entire show. The show sucked ass. Half of the matches were like look good on paper, but they were so fucking bad when they were when they were like being worked. Either the matches were too short, or they didn't even have an ending to it. The number one contender sh match for the uh, for the newly made WWE tag team titles for the Hard Dance these tag team titles had Cody Rhodes and and uh, Drew McIntyre. I'm sorry. Against R Truth and John Morrison, it ended a double disqualification. The fuck! The first match was a triple threat tag team match: Caval, Daniel Bryan, Miz, Alex Riley, and Kofi Kingston, Michael McGillicuddy. No surprise there, Miz comes out winning the match for his team, hitting the Skull Crusher finale on Caval, and you know, basically ending it. And it that was, I mean. It of a match could have went on longer. And having the Undertaker versus Bret Hart. <sighs> okay, we get it. Bret cannot wrestle. We get that. And you know. And oh, another thing about it: the fact that they kept doing the whole lights out thing. Stop reading the line on that shit because I don't know if you noticed, but there were so many people with their fucking cell phone lights up, and you can see Kane running down to the fucking ring. <laughs> you can see Kane running down to the damn ring. Quit using that shit so many times. And the and and then the Nexus coming out. I like how they push the Nexus. They're down five fucking people. They're down five people because Skip's out with an ankle injury. They're out. They're down five people, and they're still pu pushing him as the, you know, they're still pushing him as this really bad, this really awesome faction, and they are kicking ass. I like that, but the thing was, there was nothing entertaining about it because either the matches ended with. No, went no, you know, they ended too quickly, or they ended not at all. It was really ridiculous. And then, oh, don't even get me started about the Evan Bourne Jack Swagger match and Alberto Del Rio coming out. Because first I was like, oh my fucking god, really? They're going to, you know, end it again with Alberto Del Rio coming out interfering. But no, instead they uh, push him to the moon and you know make him. Go after Evan Bourne recreating Rey Mysterio's attack, which leads me to this other point. Why in all hell are you squashing Evan Bourne? Seriously. It's like they push him for like a couple of weeks and then they decide, oh, let's just like squash his ass. Let's get somebody else to just, you know, push. They never give Evan Bourne like a, a decent push. Dude should be a champion by then, by now. A tag team champion, United States champion, Intercontinental champion, something. But no, he's basically getting fucked in Raw. Like, his talent is just being overlooked and diminished. <sighs> I mean, you think after 900 episodes that their 900th episode would be something... Remarkable. Nope. 
the only fucking thing remarkable about this week was NXF and T. And the fact that Caval won NXT. The only thing that was interesting about that was the fact that Caval won NXT. Oh, man. That was, like, bad, you know? Really bad. But you know what, guys? Uh, this is about to be a very new thing I'm going to do. Now, usually I would do a commentary, then a Loudon's World, and vice versa, whatever. No, after this video, I'm actually going to be putting up two different Loudon's Worlds. Yes, because there's another thing I got to talk about that, that's been really messing with me as of late. So... This is it for this video. Like I said, the 900 show was 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 a disappointment. It was boring. A lot of people were pissed off. All the, the arena was pissed. NXT was really effing amazing because I did not expect Caval to actually win. That that surprised me. Though you know they did the old all the eliminated rookies come out and attack, and Percy Watson just starts attacking people left and right. They didn't, he didn't even know what he wanted to be a face or heel because he was just going after everybody. <laughs> that was funny as hell. He was going after MVP, then he went after Riley, then he went after somebody. It was a clusterfuck. Nobody knew what they wanted to do. But anyway, that's it for me, guys. I am Lon Styles. I'm over, I'm out, and I am gone. And also, a point announcement for you guys. Anime. Crack is cheaper. Remember that.